Hey, welcome everybody. This is Rick from Rick's Trips. Thanks for uh, checking out another one of my videos. In this video, I'll be going to Hiroshima, Japan, checking out the Memorial Peace Park and the Atomic Bomb Dome. It was actually a very moving experience for me. Um, can't believe how beautiful Hiroshima is now. And it, it still saddens me to this day to think about all the devastation. And I sure hope that never happens anywhere on this planet again. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you. Well, I'm taking the bullet train to Hiroshima. Welcome to the Hiroshima Hilton. Wow. Be sure to check out my video on the Hiroshima Hilton. And I hope you subscribe to my channel. Well, I just dropped my bags off at the Hiroshima Hilton. I'm going to take a walk to the Peace Memorial. Welcome to Hiroshima. Konnichiwa. It's a very interesting building in Hiroshima. I wonder how long it's been here. I can't imagine it's been here since before 1945. I guess it was here, and it was bombed. Hiroshima University of Literature and Science. The outer shell was all that remained after the atomic bombing on August 6, 1945. One thing I've noticed about walking around in Japan, especially Hiroshima, I guess Nagasaki too, not so much Tokyo, but Bicycles, they're everywhere. That's great. I don't know how they miss me sometimes. I'll probably walk around the wrong side of the sidewalk, I don't know. But uh, so far they've missed me. That's good luck. Softball game going on. This bridge is mentioned in a plaque up her head that shows that the heat of the atomic blast was so strong, it burnt the shadows of the fence posts and other things into the pavement. I really enjoyed the stroll down the Moto Yasu River on my way to the atomic bomb dome and Peace Park. A lot of interesting memorials placed along the banks of this river on the way to the Atomic Bomb Dome and Peace Park. Maybe take a ferry ride on the next trip. That'd be nice. Getting closer, I can see the atomic bomb dome. This plaque and monument here memorializes the Hiroshima Gas Company employees that were killed in the blast. I noticed a lot of offerings left at a lot of these monuments. Some sort of gathering at that Mahatma Gandhi Memorial. This is the area I just saw the uh, ferry boat dropped people off and then it turned around and went back down the river. It says the Motoyasu Bridge survived the bombing. However, a lot of the pillars ended up in the water. 
some of them have been put back onto the current bridge. Well, after about 20 minutes, maybe a half hour walking down the Motoyasu River, I came to the atomic bomb dome. It used to be an industrial building that was used for art shows and expositions. They left it in the original state after the bombing to remind the world of the horrors of the atomic bomb. This is the Aoi Bridge, A-I-O-I, and according to the plaque, its irregular T-shape was used as the primary target for the atomic bomb. I'm amazed to see how modern and beautiful the city is today. After crossing over the Aoi Bridge, you come to the Peace Memorial Park. Beautiful area. I think I'm gonna go strike the bell. <laughs> Throughout the park, I saw a lot of students and a lot of artwork left behind by students paying homage to the victims of the bombing. To the victims of the bombing. In the park, there's a reflecting pool with this flame of peace. The flame of peace was lit in 1964 and will stay lit until all nuclear weapons are gone from this planet. This was a very popular memorial. Several people were coming up, not just taking pictures, but saying prayers and leaving donations for the park. While walking around, I saw this beautiful structure and it's called the Peace Memorial Hall and it's solely dedicated to the victims that died in the bombing. This hall was absolutely beautiful. It had a very unique structure and lots of different displays throughout. What I thought most amazing was this incredible photo wall mural that showed actual photos and a panoramic view along the wall of the devastation of the atomic bomb. There was also a room full of pictures and names of victims of August 6, 1945. I took an Uber back to the train station of Hiroshima. I could have taken a sightseeing loop bus that is included in the JR Pass next time I know. I'm at the Hiroshima station, looking for the JR line, Shinkansen, for my JR pass. Going back to Kyoto today. Okay, I don't just look for the JR lines, I have to look for the Shinkansen line. And it was right next door to the ticket center that had long queues, long lines, but uh, they go fast. Very helpful. It's also very helpful to take a picture of the timetable that you want to show it to the guy, help overcome the language barrier. Let's go, back to Kyoto.